Are you looking for a great anime, drama, or cartoon app, or manga app? Well, this video I'm going to show you how to download these awesome apps from the internet to your phone or mobile device. Don't worry, you do not need a computer or any complicated stuff. This is just very simple and easy. And by the way, these apps won't be found on the App Store because they've been kicked off. I have no idea reason why, but also I'm going to tell you what these apps are. And the setup for all these apps are all the same, so I just show you one app and simple enough it would be easy for you to get around in the app. So first of all, Animania is an anime app, the best anime app I have ever used by far. Dramania is a cartoon no is a drama app that you can watch. Tunamania is a cartoon app and also an anime app but dubbed anime. Animania it's just subbed anime. And Mangmania is a manga app. So first of all oh, just go to mo mobile mobile bleh, mobile mobi twenty four dot net Woo and of course it's gonna show you to this website. I'm just gonna show you the Animania app. Just whatever app you want, just click the arrows. So the Animania app you just or whatever app you want, click that and then click download now. <coughs> This has no virus, I promise you, no virus. And just, it's downloading. Wow. And when you get to the website, you can just scroll down and look at these features it tells you about. Yeah, this is very quick and simple. But I already have this app downloaded, so just this part, just don't copy. And when you want to um, update the app, just go to your downloads, click the app, click the thing, just press install. And, of course, I told you all the setup is the same. Once you get into the, um, um, what's it called, app, it's going to show you this privacy disclaimer mania. And just press accept. If you want, you can read all that stuff. So, to start off, let's start with... TV, well, I'll tell you, movies and shows. Of course, you can go to the browse section. You want to go look up an anime? Well, here you go. So I'm going to look up... Oops. Uh, an anime, and very simple. It shows you the genre at the bottom. Tells you the description of the anime all here, but all you have to do is just press more. Sometimes it would tell you the origin of the anime, where is it from, what year it's made. Typically, press add if you want to put on favorites. See, it's in your favorites, and you can also save what episode you're on. So, if, for example, I'm on episode 3, click that, and I know next time I'll go back to here on my favorites, it's on episode 3. And, you know, if you X out of your anime app, and, well, here, 
If you have any favorites, once you get into the app, your favorites are going to pop up right there. This shows you your history. Apparently I have no history. This, if you would like, you can change your username. And this app tells you when your favorite shows or movies have new episodes. Updates tell you about new episodes that are going to come or have already came. Go to the popular section around underneath the browse from shows or movies. It would show you all the popular animes or dramas or whatever app you're using. It's all it's the same, relevant. And the useful thing that I found, it, t it tells you if the anime or the show is ongoing or completed or finished, which I found that they're useful. And if you want this one, just click it. It's categories. Pick, like, whatever one you want. Well, and it would show you which one that is whatever genre you picked. Of course, this one where I'm highlighting is the search button. So, blah, blah, blah. And you can click latest underneath the movie and show section. See, oh, this anime just completed today, I think. Huh. And this shows you all the new episodes that came out lightly. The community section, the shout box is basically a chat room. And earlier when I changed my username, well, see here? My username right there. I wonder if anybody else is online. Um, if you like to talk to other people directly, you can just, on in the chat room, since there's so many people sometimes, you can just quickly, eh, simply click their name, type to them. chat and then then it would message directly to that person or they'll know chatmania I have no idea what that is but of course the setup is the same for every each of one of them um you can go here to other apps so it would show you the other ones and a description I guess you can click it again, it would simply bring you back to that Mobi24.net website again. You can share this app, I guess. If I see, like, important stuff you want to read, if you like. And it, it like if answers to some questions that you want, like my download failed, I don't know. And you can download anime on the go. Okay, go to, back to my favorites. Episode 12. Here, when you get here, you can... Oh, yeah, you can like skip this part. Just press got it. And when you want to watch a anime, you have to have Wi-Fi on. Just simply pick from one of these one of these servers that are here that show up. Press play. And it's going to show a commercial. Same when you're downloading a episode or some or chapter or something it it will show you commercials sometimes so 
Sometimes they have commercials, sometimes they don't. Oh, no commercial. So now I'm downloading the episode. My download, so it would show you where your episode, like what episode you're downloading. Once your episode has finished, you can simply go to your downloads. Oh. Click the episode you want to watch. When you're offline, no Wi-Fi. And there you have it. You can just watch your show without having any Wi-Fi if you have any downloaded episodes or chapters for manga or dramas, you know, whatever. And I download MX Player from the App Store. And for me, I found it more useful. You download your episodes. You can download as many as you want. They will all pop. And if you get like a different player, like MX Player, it would show you each name of the episode. No, the show and then the episode underneath. Very simple. Once you want to delete it, you can just delete it from your downloads. <sighs> so, hopefully this video helped you to get the app you're looking for. And good luck. Thank you for watching and... Yeah, hopefully this helps you and makes you happy that you actually have a great anime app or cartoon app, manga app, or drama app that's out there that you can have that is good and good quality and stuff. Bye!